Welcome back, Back 40 family, to Season 1, Episode 3 now, The Axe. If you remember from last time, got this side done. Now it is time for this side, and we're going to try and get it to 36, and then to 120 grit on the belt grinder. So, without any further ado, as always with this channel, guys, let's get into some time lapse. And that was a really quick intro. Alrighty, back 40 family. That side that I just did went by like really quick, really easy to grind. And this, and this is what it turned out to be. So you saw I had to get the flap disc in there, but 36 grits. And I talked to my and I talked to my friend. He said it's fine if you still have some of that up in here. Um, if I was to get all that out, I completely ruin. I would completely ruin my lines like I did right here. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have to fix that one a little bit. So anyways, this is the first side that I did. Second side that I did. You can tell I learned a lot from this side. And if you are wondering why there is tape there, it is because the name of the axe and the model it is, is right here underneath this tape and I did not want to grind over that and lose the letters. Now if you're wondering what the name of it is, it is a True Timber Kelly... Is it Kelly Perfect? I don't know. I can't remember the actual name but I know it's a True, Tim True Timber Kelly and then something else after that. But anyways, next stage is going to be going up to a 120 grit... 120... Eh, 120 grit on the belt sander or belt grinder and then hopefully I have enough 220s to get it up to 220 and then save me some time on hand sanding. Now the fun part is going to be getting the flap disc hand sanding done on this. I am using a really worn out flap disc so I'm hoping that helps my case a little bit but other than that let's switch out to a 120 and as always with this channel guys let's get into some more time lapse. Alrighty guys, I got it up to 220. Here she is. A lot of different angles I had to do it at. It's not a clean 220, but I'm okay with that. My platen isn't exactly flat per se. That looks a little angled. Is that the bottom? Okay, that's not that bad a lot for some reason it makes it a lot worse on camera but anyways that is what she is now it's time for hand sanding this thing but the problem is I need to find an adequate board to hand sand show let's find one shall we uh-huh Oh, let me move that. 
There we go. This was actually to the old chicken coop. She is a bit angled, but I think if I cut it at about right here, I'll be good. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll hopefully see you inside when I have everything set up. Alrighty, guys. So we are in the house currently. So I apologize for any background noises. Everyone is home um, right now, so I apologize for that. Anywho, it is about two weeks later, I believe. Um, a week, two weeks later. So I was gonna record me hand sanding, then I figured that is gonna be a lot of boring time lapse, so I didn't record any of it. So starting on the first side I did, let me wipe it off. This, man, that looks so bad, is the first side that I did. My friend is actually really happy with it. It is probably one of my worst 220 grits, I think. So I still gotta straighten up some of the lines as you see but it's basically gonna be pretty much exactly like that um, I'm still debating whether I'm gonna put in a bubble or not or just put on the edge I think I'm just gonna put on a slight little edge on that, on that um, and then I'm leaving the these where my thumbs where my thumb is I'm leaving that the way that is so my friend was happy with that um, don't know how this was a very interesting project to do especially on the hand sanding side um, now to the other side so if we can cash light sorry I don't know if this is backwards for y'all but it's backwards on my screen <laughs> but anyways it is well you saw it earlier in the video I put in that text uh, true timber Kelly perfect I believe it's perfect I don't know it's been a long day so I might be mispronouncing that but anyways this side as you can see is not hand sanded all the way and the reason for that is on the first side i had a lot of 36 grit um scratch marks and i did not feel like going outside in the dead of night to go grind that off with the belt sander so i spent a lot of time hand sanding uh, so i spent a lot of time by hand taking those out and then when i got to this side I had a lot of that same problem, so I said, you know what, I'm going to wait, I'm going to be smart, and I'm going to wait for a good day to go outside, grind it with, and grind it a little bit more, so that way it's not so long on the hand sanding side of things. I actually was going to do, finish that Sunday, but I had to take off Sunday. Um, it was a long week, I pulled, I don't know, I forget how many hours, but anyways, it was a long week. So I took Sunday off, um, and yeah, oh, I need a day, to, day of rest, and I have to fix some things on that. That's just Sharpie runoff and WD-40 runoff, but there's a couple marks in that I need to resand. Same thing with the top and the bottom. Same thing, and on the bottom I need to redo uh, some of that as well. But anyways, so. So, I am hoping I can get this all done this Sunday, at least the grinding and hand sanding side of stuff. Um, and then, next will be the handle. And after the handle will be done, and then we're starting on two knives again. Um, so I gotta get those done, customer wants them, so. But he's been really patient with me, so I appreciate that. Um, anyways, and if you're wondering, yes, I do have a stuffy nose because this weather is ridiculous. So I apologize for my voice. Anywho, I probably talked for about three minutes, so this is where I'm gonna end it. Thank you for watching Back 40 Family. Remember, Jesus always loves you, I love you. And if you're a true American patriot, God bless you. God bless you. Man, my voice. Other than that, ah! other than that, guys, please have a fantastic day.